Hello guys, I'm the Coffee Novice. Today we're going to be looking at something that isn't really coffee related. I really wanted to have a look at it and show you guys what it's all about because it's something that I'm really interested in. Okay, so just before Christmas, I got a Game Boy, an original Game Boy. It's the DMG01 for anyone that's interested. This obviously isn't the original looking one because it's yellow in finish and it's not the, not the grey one. So what I did was I reached out to Retro6 and they sent me a load of different modding options for it and that's something that I was interested in. I'd been watching a few videos by guys like Elliot Cole and uh, the Retro Feature and I really wanted to get into that sort of modding culture of, of the Game Boy because I love my Game Boy. I played my Game Boy non-stop when I was a child. I had this one then I had the Game Boy Advance and then I moved on to the PSP. I don't know why I chose that handheld. And I still love Nintendo. I collect a lot of vintage consoles. I have like the, the NES, the SNES, uh, GameCube, N64, because they're all classics and I love them. So this is the finished product. So if you can see that there, this is what it looks like when it's finished after I finished the mod. And obviously I've got a game in there now, but you'll notice that a few things like this, and a few of the words on here aren't true to the original form, but I'll explain some of that later on, okay? So, let's have a look at what they sent me. I said I'd do a non-biased review for them, so I wanna give you guys an overview of uh, the sort of stuff that they do and the options that are out there for you. Okay, so let's look at one of these packs first, okay? So, what we've got here, this is the thing that you'll receive in the mail if you order one of the shell kits. Nicely branded, comes in a nice packaging. We'll open this up. You can see it's all wrapped nicely. It came in a big box. I'm sorry I opened the box. I got a bit excited and didn't have time to record it before Christmas when it all arrived. These are the sorts of things that you get in there, okay? So first of all, let me take that off. We have this lovely blue shell. Obviously that looks gorgeous. It's almost like the soft touch finish, which some people don't like it, some people think it'll rub off, but I, I really like it. Uh, so that looks like that. Looks very nice. Obviously, you've got your battery tray in there, which is all finished off really nicely. And it's already got the battery contacts in, which is wonderful. So we'll break this apart. We've got the shield in there, which is super useful. So if you haven't got shield on your old Game Boy, you can put all the rest of it in without the shield, because you've already got shield in here. And you also get screws, buttons, and button membranes. I'll get one of them out so you can have a look. So the buttons are relatively good. I really like them. They feel very similar to the originals. There's not a lot to say about them because they're, they're just molds. I don't know if you can see that there. Hey. Let me see that. There we go. They're, they're really good quality. They feel amazing. And you also have the button membranes there which are super useful if you're using either DMG mod uh, like if you mod on the screen or if you're just putting these on an old board because they're going to help refresh the connection that you've got when you're pressing the button to the actual contact uh, so they look like that they look great as well there we go. Uh, and you get some like the on off switch you get the screws in there little known fact about the Game Boy screws is that they're tri-wing screws, so you best to get one of them off the internet. I think the iFixit tools have them in, but I don't want to pay the money for that, so I just bought one off Amazon for like £6. A little bit pricey, not amazing. It's, it did strip some of the screws in my mod that I'm going to tell you about. The last thing you can get in there is a dot matrix uh, with stereo sound screen, which is like it's the same as the original ones. That's an original Game Boy there. So you can see that there, that looks great. And they have really good quality glass uh, screens for them. Wonderful. So let's have a quick compare, I'll hold them, them up. So this is the original Game Boy. This is the one that I've taken all the internals out of and sort of taken apart because it wasn't working very well. It's a bit clean and with some IPA and now it's working perfectly in a different shell. So that's the, the old Game Boy. And this is the new Game Boy. Sorry, I'm holding on the screen there. Okay, 
So, let me put that on one side. They also sent me a few other things. They sent me in case I was interested in this one for the blue one instead of the black screen. They also sent me a, a, a blue screen cover, which is lovely. Nice, nice glass one there. Don't know if it's focusing very well. There we go. And it looks great in comparison. I don't know which one I'm going to put on. They both look really good, so we'll just have to see. I might try, try just like mix and match and who knows. Also, they sent me some blue buttons and other stuff, which I'm not going to get out. Blue, blue membranes and stuff. I'll just leave them for now because they're very similar to what you've already seen. So now on to the slightly more exciting stuff. We'll leave that one on one side. So this is where the modding gets a bit more interesting. So I was really tempted to do a IPS mod, but I haven't got the, um, the IPS mod yet. So when I get that, I'll do an update video. What I've done is I ordered, well, sorry, they sent me this, which is very interesting. So this here is something that fits in the back of the empty shells. They've already pre-fit mine, which is wonderful. It looks like that and you'll see on it it says clean juice dmg uh maybe if i hold it that way i think it'll probably be back to front um essentially it says oh there we go can you see that maybe not so it says clean juice retro 6 handheldlegend.com so essentially what this is is a can i take it out very easily on camera this will be exciting uh, maybe I'm, maybe it's better to leave it in. Oh no, it came out. There we go. So this is a little charging pack, which works with USB-C. Okay. So this, I think it's something like ten hours. I've not tested it yet, so that is one thing that I do need to do. And it's just a little little rechargeable battery, and it fits into the Game Boy without any. If you've got an original Game Boy, you will need to mod it slightly. If you look. Like, I've got batteries in here, like three batteries. I don't know why I don't have four. But you will have to cut away some bits to fit it in, I believe. Maybe that's wrong. Uh, let me have a look. I'll get it out and then we can test it. Yeah, you will, sorry. Because if you look... If you look here, there are differences between the original and the uh, Retro 6 one. So they have the ridges in here which need to be cut away, obviously, to fit it in. This one is all smoothed out already. Okay, so let's put some more of this mess to the side and take a look at it. So essentially what it is, is a battery connected to a little little board there. And what you can do is, it's got this uh, 3M tape, which you can stick it down with. I, I'll leave mine off in case I need to change the battery. I don't want the battery to, to die and then have to replace the whole unit. So I'll leave mine off and literally, it just slides in here, you just push it in. And you're good to go. That's all. That's all it takes. It's the easiest mod in the world. There's no soldering. There's none of that. There's a little USB-C connector there. What that does, I don't know if it'll show up very well. Yep, you can see the USB-C connector there. What that does is you plug straight in. Uh, there's a couple of lights on it that'll that'll show up when it's charged. Take it off, and you're good to go for a lot longer than you will be with batteries. Benefit of this is you don't have to take the battery cover off because the battery cover has a hole in it which lines up directly with the USB-C port which is awesome. What I want to do is take a look at some of this in action. I want to show you what the, what the finished product will look like. This is the exciting part. And let me put that on one side. These are great because they all come in, they all come all boxed. I've got another one here, just a shell. So they sent me four all together with two of the clean juice mods and then a couple of extra screens and buttons and membranes. It's wonderful of them. A big thank you to them for supporting such a small channel. It's really helped me out and it's something that I'm really interested in. I think for this channel in the future, what I'm going to aim to do is do sort of one or two coffee, vi coffee videos when I can and then maybe a, a video about something that I'm interested in. So something like this or there's a few other things like guitar i might do a few guitar videos but we'll see okay uh so this is the finished product i've got a really really shoddy version of super mario land in here but let me show you what it looks like okay so let's have a look at it this is the finished mod it looks great i'm really happy with it 
So you've still got your contrast wheel over there. Everything's cut out perfectly, volume wheel. There's not a cover for the external connector, but everyone lost them. I always lost mine. I had two of these and then I had Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance didn't have this on, but I lost both of them on, on my DMG. So let's turn it on. I've got Super Mario Land in there, ready to go. A terrible version of it. Let's see if it works. I don't know if there's going to be too many reflections, but you can see there, it's running perfectly. And there we are. If I press start, all the buttons are working. And then we'll play a bit of Mario. None of the buttons are having any issues. Which is great. And the sound's good. Uh, you can replace the, the speaker and you can get an amp for it. But... Is it really worth it? The speaker's loud enough, you can plug headphones in. I probably wouldn't bother with that, but I would bother with the IPS screen because as you can see, it's not super bright. It could it could do with with a much better screen. I mean, as you can see there, it's all right in this lighting because we have lots of light coming in. We've got a white background, but if you, as soon as you start playing this on the nighttime, it becomes pretty much unplayable because the screen's so dark and there's no backlight. Okay, so that's all working with the the mod that's in there which is the clean juice which we talked about earlier and it's a new shell okay so what I was gonna tell you about was there are a few things about the shell that I like there's a few things that, I, that I'm not a huge fan of but because of copyright laws they need to be like that so the first one is where it says where it says the Nintendo Game Boy TM it also says four over here to show that it is for the Nintendo Game Boy and it's not a, like Nintendo product which is frustrating. The rest of it is all pretty good. You've got on the back there to say Retro 6 Handheld Legend, but in very small writing, you probably won't be able to see it on the camera. You go a few other things like, uh, I believe it's branded on the inside of the shell, but I think that's the only other place. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me have a quick check. Yeah, that's about it. It's, so it all looks pretty clean. It feels really good. It only rattles the, bu the buttons, there's no issues with tolerances, it goes together really smooth, it's a really easy mod to do, especially with the battery. All you have to do is take the old motherboard out of the old Game Boy, leave it in an empty shell like this, and then get everything in here and you're good to go. So that is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it, I know it's a bit different, I will go back to doing coffee stuff eventually, a bit busy recently with everything that's been going on with lockdown like 3 now. So I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading in a while, but I thought I'd throw in something different and then we'll get back on track with the coffee. Right, thank you very much and goodbye.